One morning, Renaeus was impatient. He, had, he was wearing a new coat of paint and longed for everyone to see it. The other entrance was still dozing, but not Renaeus. Driver should be here by now. What's he doing? Sleeping, grunted Peter Sam. But that means I'll be late. The coaches will be waiting and the passengers will get cross. Rubbish, puffed Duncan. It's still early, added Frank. You just want to show off. No, I don't. Never mind, Renee, said Scarlo. It will be soon time for work. But be careful or you might run into danger. And Toby and Fergus is not here to save you. Toby and Fergus, stuck it rusty. Do you mean our hero? A large painting of Toby and Fergus hung in the engine shed. The very same. Yes, said Scarlowy. Driver told me a story. Listen. This is the story what Scarlowy told. Long ago, when Stepney was still called the Bluebell Engine, and Thomas, the Tank Engine, They work with Fergus and Toby in his old railway. But Thomas still has a lot to learn. The manager came to see him. Thomas, I am pleased you work so far. Now you must learn the difficult part of the line. We call it the Mountain Road. Thomas was excited. Yes, please, sir. So tomorrow, continued the manager, when you have a new coat of paint, you will go on it. Toby and Fergus and explain everything. <laughs> Thought Thomas. Toby and Fergus is an old fuss pot. Next day came. Listen, warned Toby and Fergus. The mountain road is difficult. I'll lead. No, replied Thomas. I'll lead. How can I learn the route with you lumbering the head and blocking the view? Suit yourself, said Toby and Fergus. But never mind the view. Look at the track. The engine set off. Look at the track, Puff Toby. Never mind of you. Fast pot, fast pot, replied Thomas, Thomas and Fergus. Fuddy duddy, fuddy duddy, fuddy duddy. The engine speed grew slower and slower. Don't dawdle, don't dawdle, urged Thomas and Fergus. No hurry, no hurry, puffed Toby. Soon, they approached the tunnel. Thomas and Fergus didn't like the tunnel. It was curved and he couldn't see.
to want to get out, he sighed. One moment, everything seemed safe, then suddenly... Thomas and Fergus was derailed and hung dangerously over the edge. Toby bravely held on with all his strength. Stop shaking, he called. I can't hold you if you shake. Toby's driver and Farman and Fergus's driver work quickly to make the two engines safe again. For the three engines. Then came more trouble. Water! cried Fergus's driver. Toby needs water quickly! Luckily there was a workman's cottage nearby. Soon everyone was passing jugs, buckets, kettles and salt pans filled with water until Toby's first was quenched. All the while, Toby was building more strength. At last, with everyone's help, he was able to pull Thomas and Fergus back onto the rails. Then, they started off once more. The manager was putting on top station. Apologise for the accident. Your Toby and Fergus, said the passengers, is a hero. He stood firm like a bulldog and wouldn't let go. Thomas is going for too. Thank you for saving me, Toby and Fergus. I don't know why you bothered that I've been so rude. Oh well, replied Toby and Fergus. You should have a new coat of paint. It would have been pity if you rolled down the mountain and spoiled it. Toot toot!